In this video, I'm going to show you the Chlorine Genie. And the Chlorine Genie is a device that will make chlorine for your pool. It's also a device that will regulate the pH in your pool. And so basically, when you have the Chlorine Genie installed, you no longer need to buy chlorine at the pool store, nor do you need to buy muriatic acid or soda ash to adjust the pH. And the Chlorine Genie will work very similar to a saltwater generator. There's an electrolytic cell inside the brine tank, and this will generate the chlorine for the pool. But unlike a saltwater pool that needs four to 600 pounds of salt in the water, the Chlorine Genie works with the salt in the brine tank itself. So to get started, you just need 80 to 100 pounds of salt inside the Chlorine Genie to start generating chlorine for your pool. And after initially setting up the Chlorine Genie, you may need one bag of salt per month, and this is based on a 24 hour runtime. So the frequency of adding salt to the brine tank is dependent on the daily runtime. And one of the biggest advantage of the Chlorine Genie over a traditional saltwater generator is that the water doesn't contain 400, 600, or 800 pounds of salt. So this makes the water a lot less corrosive. All the salt is contained again in the Chlorine Genie itself in the brine tank. And just note that the Chlorine Genie is not new technology. It's actually been around for over two decades. This is the latest version of the Chlorine Genie, now owned by Ultimate Water. And this is the RT30, which is a residential version of the Chlorine Genie. And this is rated for up to 40,000 gallons of water. In the RT30 will produce 0.6 pounds of chlorine per day. So if you have a larger pool or commercial pool, you may want to get the CT50, which is a dual cell system, and that's rated for up to 80,000 gallons of water, and that one will produce 1.2 pounds of chlorine per day. And note that the Chlorine Genie does not monitor the amount of chlorine that's being produced each day. The amount of chlorine that's being produced depends on the runtime of your pool and the runtime of the Chlorine Genie. So you'll need to check the free chlorine level of your pool and adjust the output of the Chlorine Genie and the runtime of your pool accordingly to raise or lower the free chlorine level. And the Chlorine Genie may look complicated, but it works on a very simple principle. It takes in the clean tap water here, then it goes through this descaler into the reverse osmosis, and then that will go into the brine tank, and then from there, the chlorine will come out into your pool. So when your traditional saltwater generator is working, it'll produce sodium hydroxide, which will raise the pH in the pool. With the Chlorine Genie, since there's a drain here, you can actually drain out the sodium hydroxide. So since the water in the brine tank is a low pH, this will allow you to adjust the pH in the pool by adjusting the pH valve. So you can raise the pH by closing the valve, or lower the pH by opening the valve and draining some water out. And one thing to note, the Chlorine Genie does not monitor the pH of the pool. You'll need an independent test kit to measure the pH level in the pool to keep it balanced. You'll use the pH valve to regulate the pH to kind of adjust it, but you'll still need to independently test it to make sure that the pH is the right level. In the control panel of the Chlorine Genie, it's really easy to operate. You have your amperage here, and when it's at the 15 amps, that's usually when it's producing the correct amount of chlorine for the pool. Then you have a timer here in the center, and you want to set the timer to run when the pool pump is running. And over here is the hour counter, and this will let you know how many hours the Chlorine Genie has been operating since it's been installed. And unlike a traditional salt cell, the Chlorine Genie salt cell is going to remain a lot cleaner since you're getting soft water going into the brine tank. But there is an acid cleaning port on front, and you'll use muriatic acid to clean out the cell when needed. And on this side here is the acid cleaning port for the chlorine lines. And some of the installation parameters is that you're going to need to have a water source 50 feet from the Chlorine Genie. It has 50 feet of tubing included. If your water source is further away, contact the manufacturer and they'll send you out longer tubing. It also has to be installed at your pool equipment no further than 10 feet from the pool pump. And then you'll need a power source for the Chlorine Genie and a standard GFI socket by the pool equipment is sufficient. And if you're going to use the pH valve to regulate the pH in the pool, you'll need a drain somewhere suitable either into the dirt, gravel, or to a drain by the pool area. You don't want to drain this directly onto cement as it may bleach the cement surface with the alkaline water. And there's also this cover for the control panel to protect it from the elements. So that's an overview of the Chlorine Genie, which is a really innovative way of adding chlorine to your pool and also regulating the pH of the pool water. And all the parts for setting up the Chlorine Genie are included, except for the PVC pipe for the pH drain. And in some follow-up videos, I'm going to show you the setup and operation of the Chlorine Genie. Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's Wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open 7 days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's Wholesale account is Leslie's Referral Program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.